check it. Before the crowds, before the money, before anyone even bothers knowing your name. They're gonna be early mornings, bruised egos, bloody mats, and a lot of lonely nights. It takes sacrifice, dedication, hard work, and definitely some determination. This is Amateur MMA. Fight life starts here. I feel that um, I'm in the right to uh, take over that 165 pound belt because I'm the best fighter at 165 pounds. Is this really happening? Like, as a grown man really calling me out like this and testing me out, talking to my dad the way he is? Um, and I'll prove it to anyone that would like to try to challenge this notion. Like, really, dude? Like, yeah. <laughs> going to happen now is uh, I've made an agreement with Mr. Barry Meyer, a uh, great tough enough crew, um, as well as uh, Kerry Hartney and Jeff Meyer, um, wonderful uh, organizers, and um, I'd like to apologize to Lenon Ford, um, Mercedes White, as well as all of the tough enough crew, <laughs> a lot of other people. If somebody can be all negative and everything and he's never acted like that me and Shane Johnson were cool so it was like out of the blue so I'm like thinking all right there might be something going on whatever just give him the benefit of the doubt like and I told him bro let's stop talking let's just fight let's just get it done like obviously you have a problem with me so why don't you want to just let's settle it so um, ended up he came up with all these terms and I accepted them all uh, just for the fight to happen, because that, that, that's all I wanted to do is fight. And I, it's so hard to fight nowadays, I guess, but that's, I mean, I thought that's what we were all doing in the sport. Restricted, and um, I don't like to conform. Uh, I like to be an individual, and I like to make my own decisions. I use my brain, of course, but I make my decisions with my heart for the I, what I believe is the best of uh, my family and my friends, because that's who I care about. And uh, you know, the bottom line is uh, what happens to me and everyone hating on me. Anyone can hate me all they want. Bottom line is I get to fight Sean Bollinger after I whip the shit out of. Uh, uh, pardon my language, please. Uh, after I uh, beat up on uh, Lenon Ford for, and take his belt. Man, for your safety, do not talk about Sean Bollinger. Like, that, I'm, I, I'm keeping it respectful as for me and you, but when you talk about one of my coaches and one of my brothers and somebody that taught me the game, Sh Sean will murk you, bro. By the way, my 155 pound belt is up on the line too. 
Uh, we've made an agreement. I really respect Lenon Zulu Ford, and uh, him and I have made an agreement where we're both going to uh, put those belts in line because we're going to see who the better fighter is, period. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to do it. Uh, uh, I'm going to weigh in probably about 164, and he's going to weigh in at uh, you know probably around the same thing, I'm guessing. Whatever terms he wants, he can get. I mean, because we're just, we're just about fighting on this side, man. That's why, that's why I do it. I mean, I wake up every day and come here. You know, like mean, there's, I don't party, I don't have friends, I have brothers that I train with and that's it. So I mean, for somebody to come into my life, which is MMA, and I mean, it's, it's no matter, he called me out, whatever. It was, it wasn't about disrespect at first, but now, let's fight. Uh, like I'm a man of God. Like uh, I don't, I, I, I fear no man but God. People could tell me they're gonna kill me, whatever. That no, I don't fear that. Like I know if uh, the Lord lives in my heart. Like why do I have to fear about a man, Lord Jesus, and uh, all my ancestors, um, Biggs, Grandma Biggs, and uh, Pop. You know, like they live in my heart, and so do a lot of other uh, inspirational people. I know it. I believe Tupac Shakur lives in my heart. Uh, you know, like people will laugh at me all uh, they want, and people will try to kill me even more so if, <laughs> if they know that. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, uh, anyway, you know, I'm just very blessed to uh, be here. And uh, bottom line is, I have a fight on March 23rd against the non Zulu Ford, and I'm going to prove and I'm going to take that 165 pound belt. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to remain who I am. I'm gonna see him before he, he's gonna put out his hand to touch gloves. I'm gonna to touch his glove. And after that, this man cussed out my dad. This man cussed out my teammates. This man cussed me out, called me all sorts of names. And he wants, to, he did all that so I can get off my game. I'm gonna show him that with all that, I'm gonna remain on my game and your chin is gonna be my target for nine minutes. Wasn't smart.